if you want to filter out your result set uh, in a normal situation you basically specify uh, a condition inside your where clause uh, and um, when you run the select statement with that uh, condition specified in the where clause it uh, returns you a filtered uh, result set based on the condition now if that condition involves uh, an aggregate function or one of the functions which we saw in our previous video um, like sum or average or min or max um, uh, that condition needs to be specified in a, another clause which is uh, known as the having clause and let me show you uh, the use the exact use of having clause in one of the examples uh, so if you can see this uh, result set and let's say we want to filter this result set um, uh, and we want to say that uh, uh, I mean in this result set we can see the album IDs and the associated uh, total durations uh, but let's say if we uh, say that we only want to see uh, uh, the results of the album have a duration of let's say greater than greater than uh, 900,000 so we know that some of these some of these results will be excluded um, now let me just run and see how many total um, rows are written as a result of our original select statement where we were uh, uh, returning all the albums with all the durations so i'll try to execute it connect to the database select the right database and so we have uh, 347 rows. We can see uh, the total number of uh, records um, which have been returned over here on the bottom right hand corner. Um, now I want to I want to um, specify this having clause somewhere over here so you can use having clause just like your where clause and you can say okay i want the sum so the condition now involves this aggregate function and that's why we are using having because whenever the condition uh, has uh, this function instead of using the where clause uh, we should use uh, the having clause and what I say is that 900,000, I'm interested in 900,000. So I'm setting this 900,000 as a threshold. And we can see group, okay, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm doing it a bit. So let me just do it over here. I think that should be okay. So that means that we are grouping by album IDs and we want to we want to view the albums along with their total durations but we want to filter out on the basis of uh, this value so anything which has less than uh, any album which has less than 900,000 milliseconds duration uh, should not be returned so we we can expect that album id 2 and album id 3 are not going to be returned uh, maybe most of the albums in this table have a duration of more than 900,000 but we can uh, we can see that we uh, uh, would uh, be returned with uh, 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 lesser rows than 347 rows which are which was actually returned before applying this filtering so let us execute this and see what we get and we can see that album id 2 and album id 3 uh, were less than 900,000 milliseconds so uh, we uh, so they, 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 those those uh, albums have not been returned uh, so that can that can be seen straight away but if we uh, if we if you observe uh, this uh, um, uh, bit of the uh, management studio it clearly states that we have 258 rows so there were about a uh, hundred hundred rows hundred uh, albums almost hundred albums uh, I believe I can't remember the 347 I think was the actual so uh, there, there were about hundred rows which were less than uh, 900,000 which have been filtered out now we can just verify and just verify 
by inverting this condition and that means that just uh, we are only interested to view all the albums which are less than 900,000 uh, milliseconds of duration. So let me execute this and we can see uh, straight away that album ID 2 and 3 are returned and we can see that about 89 rows so there are 89 albums which have uh, uh, more uh, which have more duration than 900,000 milliseconds uh, but the important takeaway uh, from this video is this having clause and uh, when should you use having clause um, anytime the condition the filtering condition involves uh, a function uh, you should use a having clause instead of a real clause